Let's say you're God. And you create this system where pain is the only way people can progress. Does that make a lot of sense to you? Because that's what a lot of these beliefs are saying. Can you see that that's what these beliefs are saying? If you, pain is the only way, pain and suffering is the only way you can actually progress. So it's great that you've got pain and suffering. Now, I do believe that it's good that you have pain and suffering in the sense that if you're doing something disharmonious with love, you need to know about it, and the pain is the thing that tells you. Right? However, I don't agree that God created a system where you can only progress in pain. And in fact, many of you, after you've released your pain, will continue progressing throughout eternity without pain. Now, won't that be a joy? Yes. Yeah. yes. And that's what God wanted right from the start, was to, you, to desire to progress without pain. But to do that, you would have to exercise your free will, harmonious with love, and have a desire for God to tell you when you're about to do something out of love and with love. And when you walk away from God, you walk away from that connection. So if you connect to God, you can now connect to God in a way of God informing you what was loving and what isn't. And after you've gotten through the seventh sphere of your own progression, into the first celestial sphere, the eighth sphere, which is the point of abundance with God, from then on you will never progress with any... You, you will never have painful experiences in your progression. Sounds pretty sweet. It's only up till then that we have these painful experiences because we have, as a race, walked away from God. Right? And even on an individual basis, day by day, many of us still choose, don't we, to walk away from God in many of our choices. And so each of us, like I said earlier, will be faced with the choice, when am I going to start doing things God's way? Or am I going to keep doing things using my free will how I want? AJ, yep. is a child able to acknowledge God from a young age? Yeah. Actually, the way God created her system was that while the child is in the mother's womb, it can receive divine love. If the mother is receiving divine love. If the, if the, if the mother or the father are making choices that aren't within that, are they not influencing the child? In they are certain. From God? They are certainly influencing the child, but that is their free will. Just like I have the free will to influence you in a negative way. It makes no difference whether it's a child or an adult. We all have the choice to influence others in a negative or a positive way with regard to love. And that doesn't change from the moment in the incarnation forever in our existence. You have the choice uh, right from that time. Very true, and that's why you know this system is very unloving, and but it's man's creation. So God didn't create that system. What God, God created was the first human couple were in a perfect condition. Therefore, any children they would have had would have been in a perfect condition. If they had fo if they had both all focused on their connection with God, there would have been no emotional damage. Therefore, every subsequent generation will be in an emotionally pristine condition, being able to do whatever they want. Right? But man, through the use of its exercise of free will, decided that they wanted to walk away from God and be God themselves. In fact, the first human couple decided they wanted to be gods. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Isn't that sound familiar to what the, many of the New Age teachings are? Yeah. You are gods, right? Yeah. And the first human couple wanted to be gods. And they decided to do that, they could walk away from God, and this is the problem that it gets us into in the end. Well, actually, initially, when you're first born, it's your parents who are suffering this, their own sins of their projection at you. For example, when you're first born, what normally happens? The child starts screaming, right? Does it not? Yeah. Yes. Now, if a parent was really, really focused on feeling their pain, 
wouldn't they feel the pain of their child screaming? And then wouldn't they make the step of saying, all right, my child is screaming because of things I've done. I'm the one that's getting the hurt from this child screaming. I'm the, getting the reflection. So many times during your formative years, you were the perfect reflector back to your parent. The perfect reflector of their error. And if those parents were humble, they would have corrected that. And instantly, the correction would have been noticed in your treatment of them. And so God actually created a perfect system to, to correct the parent even by the incarnation process of these new children. So the whole system is actually very perfect if you look at it from this perspective. Now, many of you are looking at it from the perspective of the other perspective, which is, I got all this damage from my parents. The truth is that every single bit of damage you got from your parents will be cleared from you by God if you choose to allow God with your free will to do that. But any damage you created, you will have to actually deal with through a different way. So, so the truth is that everybody does have complete responsibility for their own emotion. Right? And that includes all of this damage from your childhood. Your parents have responsibility for that. You don't have responsibility for that. All you need to do is allow yourself to feel and God will remove it from you.